When you're sitting alone with a god of the film, the rage is Show us what tips not tell you. Just normal men. Just innocent men. <laughs> Oh, hello, I'm Ryan. Hello, I'm Sam. I'm Cameron. I'm Jamie. And did you know it's actually been 30 years since the wrong trousers? And this is Doctor Who Daleks in Manhattan. Well, this is my very first Doctor Who episode, and it was this a uh, opening scene that I walked into the living room as a young boy, and my mum and dad were watching it, and the pig jumped out, and I went, "Now what is this?" <laughs> it is good to that opening scene always used to creep me out. Yeah, because I think it, the be- all best Doctor Who stories of how you started watching always start with um, you remember what scared you the most first, and then you started watching. The pig slaves are a great idea. Because it's just that sort of random classic Who thing where it's just like... The Daleks just have weird minions. Yeah, <laughs> that are pig people. Because they need things that have hands. Yeah, it was this bit when he's like walking through the corridors that I came into the living room and it was on and I was like, what is this? And then the title sequence played now is, I was sat. <laughs> and I've been sat ever I, since. I'm, I'm quite excited for when my first episode comes up. Mm. What was yours? I'm not going to say until oh, it comes ooh. up. I think this might be most people on my first episode, I'm not sure. I don't yeah, know this is like, it's still just like, this opening scene is just like, like, memories of childhood flood back. I, I think I still have a human Dalek mask. Oh, oh yeah, the one. <laughs> <laughs> I had, um, do you remember, I think it was for series C, they did the Doctor Who Froobs. Yeah. And you could get the uh, the Dalek like hybrid one, and it it had um, it was like chocolate yogurt, so it was like brown, the same colour as his skin. Yeah, and I from really that moment, I was, was gonna say, I was yeah. sat on that couch. I do wish they hadn't revealed that it's Daleks in Manhattan. In no, what it should have been is there's the bit when the lift door opens and it reveals the eye stalk. That should have been the Q titles. She's a. Scottish there, I wouldn't. Yeah. Smell that one. I call it easy. I also love they're not in New York. No, they're in Cardiff. There's a funny, there's a funny bit in the Confidential oh, when. Um, I swear, I swear to God. But, don't you do. But what the song. Say, I, I, if you say that you've been to this city. No, no, I'm not. No, city, I'm talking about I'm the music. Going to take your balls off. <laughs> All right. I've been to this your city. Warning. I'm pretty. I can't remember. I think it's Rhapsody in Blue is the name of the song. But um, the song that's playing in the background, it was the inspiration behind it was Manhattan itself. Like the guy was like, ah. "How do you make a song that signifies the whole town?" And that's what the song in the background is. That is a fun fact. Uh, it Helen Rayner also wrote some Torchwood episodes. She did. Oh God, Ghost Machine. Oh, fuck. It's one of these episodes that I didn't mind until I grew up. Yeah, it's not. So I'm I, oh my god, yeah. it is one of the most horrific pieces of fiction I've ever seen. So is this so We're in a park in Cardiff, yeah. They didn't go to New York at all. This. Central park to no. go. Too expensive. Oh, she also did uh, To the Last Man, which is the weakest of season two. <gasps> I want this funny man. Do you reckon Dragon is do stuff in New York? Do you reckon City get to film in New York? Hopefully, yeah, that's all CG. Are we about to see my boy? Spider Man. I don't remember him playing Spider Man. Ah, isn't this guy? Hold on, I'm I'm need to look that up. I am to piss me off. Wait, no, I'll I'll I'll, I'll 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 Okay. I know he's American, but I think he's in a lot of British stuff. I guess I'm rude. Solomon. Oh, he's Star Wars Phantom Menace. Yay, that's Captain what it is. Monica. Gotta lower it so good. Wow. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a good one. Yeah, 
the only thing about the Dalek Sick Hybrid, it, oh god, that's bad green screen. Um, the only thing about the Dalek Sick Hybrid is it's got like it's still got the American accent. It's kind of goofy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very goofy. It's that guy. Do you want to know a fun uh, Empire State fact? Yes. So they were building. There were two buildings being built at the same time. Two skyscrapers. I want to say it was the question was getting built. Probably. At the same time. But they were they were so basically they were trying to become the biggest one out of the pair of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I remember being like, told they, that they're right. getting all there, and what and like. Ember State Building were worried because the Chrysler Building were like they reached their peak and they looked taller but then inside their elevator shaft they left their spire there so they waited until uh, the Chrysler was finished and then they put on their spire to become the tallest building that's funny <laughs> <laughs> I think the Daleks are more like they're goofier in this episode rather than scary like they were in Series one and two. That's why I think Doomsday is the last time that they're no, truly you're threatening. You're wrong. You just are wrong. I'm not just. I'll, other than maybe the start of Stone Earth. No, Stone Earth. It is Stone Earth. And then Journey's the ending. Fuck it. Yeah, I would agree. How big is this place? <laughs> Central Park. It is all of Central Park. Uh huh. Okay. All of Hoover Hill. Yeah. yeah. It, it, like, it was a real. It was massive. Thing. Yeah. Are you tell me that no one's neighbours, no one in the ten X was like. I mean, I'd be a bit like, oh, I can't be arsed that. Way, way. The best. This must have been one of his. This must have been one of his first acting, acting things. Oh God, IMDb is <laughs> putting some work today. Oh, he looks like a little baby. It's another. Uh, well, because it's Andrew Garfield, and then in Blink, we've got Carrie Mulligan. Mm-hmm. Two big, two fantastic movie stars movie. that started out on Doctor Who. One Spider-Man, more woman. <laughs> we don't know. For sure. For sure. Just one guy, just one Spider-Man, or woman, we don't know. For sure. <laughs> Why do you speak like that? Well, well, well. When well, I do declare. Do you actually start whipping at the tick tick boom songs? I think he starts using <laughs> that. It's like a whoosh. That's a whip. Yeah. Saw Dial of Destiny yesterday as of recording this. It's good. I don't fucking know why you're asking me. <laughs> well, I like that. That's very classic who this. The brain. Yeah, just like. I like it when he picks green. up and he's like. Because that's what Tom Baker would do. He'd go up and start like fingering it. It's when he turns it over and starts going. I don't remember this at a. Why was it glowing until he picked it up? I don't know. The creature from the pit it is when Tom Baker sucks off that big green slime monster. <laughs> now again, I like this scene. We've never done one before in the in the dark. In the <laughs> what did they say that is? Just a, a thing. No, it's sick because when he's scanning it, he finds out it's got Dalek DNA in it. So that's like an early experiment. Ah, right, they, they chucked away. Well, that's see, cool. I've watched these a lot. I do like the co- the basic concept of this episode that the Daleks are trying to evolve and they're experimenting and shit. But they, in my opinion, they could have got scarier and weirder with that concept. I agree. I by no means think this episode is perfect. I just don't, like people think this is like. It's one of the worst story. <laughs> what the fuck? No, it's not. It's just an old man. Okay. <laughs> Johnny Sins. Um, no, but I, I, by no means are these episodes perfect, right? But a lot, I think a lot of people consider these like the pits of Doctor Who, and I'm like, no. It's pretty bad. Though. It's just not that bad. It's pretty shit. I, really I don't. I don't think, think it's that bad. bad right? I think it's quite shit. Considering I, I if any, if anyone, I should be the one that thinks. Highly of this since it's my first episode, but again, why the work is not just like what the fuck is that? It's weird. I feel like the Daleks, like Nick Briggs Daleks, usually don't have like they, those Daleks sound very classic. Who and that they're they are very more no tone and they talk like this. They also they definitely like see they don't sound as intimidating. No, they sound like that's more like what they. I do like this scene. Mm-hmm. It's very rare we see a slow scene with just someone talking to a Dalek. I know, but like, 
it's why I like this. Yeah, as I said, I like this scene. Sylvester McCoy fucking blew it up. <laughs> we did. <laughs> yes. That's such a random scene that was like, we launched the nukes, we're two. Oh shit, man, we just blew up our whole planet. <laughs> Unlimited rice pudding. He's a bit like King Ben. <laughs> I was a boy. Yeah. I'm a new King Ben of <laughs> This scene with okay. Vincent D'Onofrio. It's not about... <laughs> it's not about the building, Daleks. It's about the Mets, baby. It's about the Mets. Go, Mets! What is this angle? It's like me taking photos of you guys. It's like the <laughs> .5 lens. I was going to say, talk, you talk about like scenes that are seared into my mind. Yes, yeah, fu it's fucked up. I love this. this is, uh, I, love I always this. remember... Also, like, there's the random fireballs from... Some reason I always remember his, his goddamn shoes. Why is it, right? It, is, it's, it's, it sucks him off, but he goes a little far. Do you know the thing that always makes me, like, things I find very distracting with this? I don't know, the operator for Dalek second this is just going like that with the eye stop the yeah. whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's specifically just him going... Yeah. I do like all the wee, like, things the operators do, like, moving the gun every now and then. just gives them a bit of personality that they're not... There's something inside controlling it. It, look, I, I was, it looks like... Um, I love this! Do you know what it looks like? It looks like... Uh, do you remember Planet 2110? I do remember Planet yes. 2110. <laughs> you know like what? on the CBBC website, Planet 2110. Do, do you know that, that one of the... I think it's the Shade characters, you know, the ones that are yep. like humans? That's in a Doctor episode later on. I think The that, robots are in the Sarah Jane adventures. So they are. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Those were... That was a great series, but I remember always just to like, like, skip the games because the story... Was I like the story was the games. better. I like the games. I'm going to suck you off. It did. How did they meet? <laughs> the Daleks and this guy. They just sort of like came to him one day and went, Oh, you, mate, you will build building for us. Um, okay, you think about the time that it was, and it was like, wasn't space just sort of like kicking off and it was at the board? Why are all their oh, really? uh, nameplates oh, the exact same? Oh, so everyone's nameplate on the. All the Dalek nameplates are the exact same. Are they? Uh-huh. And the, that over there. Uh-huh. The Carl yeah. Scarrow's ones are different. All right. Everyone else is a, are a bit jagged. They've all got the wee square ones. I thought, they all, yeah. I thought the Carl Scarrow had different ones because yeah. they're the ones with... No, no. Oh. They've oh, got well. the square ones which are different to everyone else. To be fair, to be fair. From memory. I think up until this point, I think as well, I still think, I think this episode is so really good. I think it falls apart a bit later. This shit's great. But I think this part's great. I, mean, I, I think this part's so really very good. slow so I'm far. enjoying this. It's very... Do you know, it is very classic who, like... If you just replace this with like Tom Baker and Sarah Jane, mm. it's a very like seventies Doctor Who. Episode. Is this a Russell? Did Russell write this as well? No, it was that. <laughs> Take the kids. Just don't know easy cases. No, because it's just a regular one they find at this point, isn't it? It's Miss Piggy. Oh, Kirby, Kirby. You mean to be you? Miss Piggy was like, she's a massive like. <laughs> I mean, you said it. I was going to say sex pest, but yeah. I still, I still kind of... Same thing. Yeah, Andrew Ruffin's brood, he really looks so different. He looks so different. She's one allegation away from getting <laughs> Keith, Keith Dorr. Uh, she's one allegation away from Miss taking Piggy up the Do you remember when she assaulted the CEO of Warburton? Yeah, I do. <laughs> what the fuck? Miss Piggy is one, is one fucking allegation away from picking up a ukulele. Oh, no. Imagine they found Percy down there. It's Percy! It's real, just a finger in the nose holes. I imagine it was actually just like <laughs> Percy Pig, just sitting there like <laughs> the giant one, <laughs> <laughs> just an um, made, out, made out of gummy, yeah. <laughs> gummy fuzzy bear. pigtail. Fuzzy pigtails boss. Do you reckon they're just too expensive because they're M and S? Do you reckon the pigmen taste like pork? <laughs> yeah, probably because they're. Pigs yeah, are, uh, are you a cannibal if you eat them? Uh, if you're a pig, yes. If you're a human, no. Imagine the pork Look scratch that. you could get off of those boys. See that one back there? Uh, Imagine the pork scratch you could get off of those boys. Yeah. <laughs> well, they do fry a couple of them later on, don't they? Yeah. But this shit's great. Yeah, this is some good... This is another uh, great scream from David Tennant when yeah. Andrew Garfield gets taken. And he goes... Bah! See if he had spider strength, he'd be fine. <laughs> Another iconic David Tennant swing. <laughs> that was <laughs> metal pig one. <laughs> What's stopping the pigs from just going... <laughs> lifting the... There's many of them though. He just kept that in his pocket. 
Yeah. See, that's someone Tom Baker probably would. He'd, he'd probably put it in his pocket. He would. Yeah. Oh god, he's put pocket. He's just like Tom Baker would put it on his head. <laughs> just <'cause>... <laughs> 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 I can't feel my face when I'm with you. <laughs> the real Chad Doctor Who move would have been if they'd actually got up to Empire State Building and put those on there. <laughs> without Put those put actors up there without harnesses. Oh! I've just realised. This is Vore. <laughs> no idea. Why have we got more Doctor Who Vore? I will sacrifice myself. Myself. What a king. I wish no, he was no, in it more. No, not a king. He's a king. He's an evil Nazi machine. <laughs> I <laughs> love him. <laughs> I wish he was in it more. He's a what a king. He's Literally a... talking about the Nazi death machine. <laughs> what a king. A... What is a king? Here comes the Vore boys. Yeah. Oh, it's horrific. <laughs> it's about the king goes boom. Oh. Oh. Gives him a wee hug. Come here. <laughs> I like when the doctor gets on there day about stuff like that. You see cute little thing. Ooh. Oh. Doesn't Martha come on the stage and like fuck it up? Yep. Mm-hmm. Which I will never forgive her for. We're there going is... to pan up so you can't see Yeah, I was going to say there's no one in that audience. Oh, there is. And Martha's always getting fucking kidnapped. Do you know what? Still make it out. But still makes it out, yeah. Oh shit. She gets kidnapped in series 4. She does. Twice. That's one of the, I know, that's one of the main things I hate about that Sontaran two-parter is Mar- they bring back Martha and she does nothing and, and she's a clone for half of it. And they do it again and... Yeah, and then they do it again. Ah. Fuck off. So far off. This is like the beginning of Batman Returns. When the, the cock goes into the... <laughs> the time has come! <laughs> I do like this bit. Oh. When he goes... <laughs> I once... This is remi- just reminded me of that bat... Did you see the Batman? Where he does that to Catwoman? Yeah. And someone on Twitter had put a, a, a screenshot of that scene and the caption was just, you know his meat was throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> He's going, don't look like I'm kidding. We got pink. <laughs> we got pink. <laughs> See, do you know what the fight... Times like this, I wish we had a camera. <laughs> what I was gonna say is right. Sorry. Could oh, okay. theoretically yeah. could surely the cult of Scarrow because we saw how much damage one Dalek could do. 1930s, they could probably just wipe out all of humanity, and then use the dead bodies for shits and gigs for their experiments. Yeah. I don't know why they don't do that. They don't need live bodies. Then capture a few people and kill the rest. Oh! <laughs> Shit myself. <laughs> it's just so loud. Look at the beat. Rest in peace, headphone no, users. I'm sorry. How the fuck did she not know that was him? I don't voice? know. I don't That's know. Like, there's there's a gonna... lot of padding in this episode. He working a whisper. Do you know I've got a fun fact, right? So, Stephen Moffat was originally supposed to write this episode. What happened? But he was writing Jekyll at the time and didn't have time to do a two part. Have you never seen Jekyll by Stephen Moffat? I've heard it's quite good. Um, But he was writing Jekyll at the time and I don't think he had time to write a two part, so he went, I'll take the Doctor Light episode to make up for it and then wrote fucking Peak. But yes, they originally went, Stephen Moffat, went, he was going to write the Dalek two-parter in the middle of the series. Mm. Which would have been interesting. interesting because I don't think Stephen Moffat really likes the Daleks, which is evident from all the Dalek stories. Mm. 
Is this the bit when it scans the one guy and goes, Call him be stupid? <laughs> they should have done it like uh, the guy in Doomsday. They just go, <laughs> yeah, but they're not alive anymore. Yeah, I know, but I just I want the Daleks to do cool things. <laughs> I want a sock on your pissy. <laughs> I meant to say fizzy big tail, but I said pissy. <laughs> <laughs> pissy fig tail. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I know, like that's thing. He definitely knows. He's leading her on. I liked Frank's we when he went, you too, Frank, and Frank went, mm. He gay. It's dramatic. <laughs> what? Why is this so like, oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. That bell is on fire. Say, <laughs> 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 it's actually... <laughs> uh, someone needs to put that out. <laughs> yeah, that's no longer open tomorrow. That's just a I like how every, every now and then in the back where you see... <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like the Richard Hammond uh, science lab. I'll say again. The scene is bossing. My boy hitting the... This is a great cliffhanger. boy hitting the... <laughs> oh no. This is a great cliffhanger with great music. And... Yeah. Oh, it's so good. This just hits me right in the nostalgias. I remember watching this cliffhanger as well and not realising, obviously, because it's the first time I'd seen Doctor Who or any sort of... Any form of TV, really, other than CBeebies. So I was like, well, it just ended. And then my mum was like, yeah, we have to watch it next week. And I was like, you're fucking kidding me. I like it, they like, oh shit, it's the doctor. <laughs> Blind as fuck. Bars. Um, bars. Bars. Like, bars. Bars. Today we're <laughs> going to start with bars. Bars. Bars, homie. He's still got the, the crepes on. He's still got the Nike <laughs> ears on. It's a very cool practical. Yeah. Prosthetic. Look at it all like, what the fuck? How did they do the eye? I don't know. It's quite impressive. <laughs> can, the, can the guy see in that? I, I, I don't think so. You know what? I quite like you know what? it. I liked it. It was just very, hey, just very know. slow. It's slow? Hero pick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's as bad as people say it is by any means, but I, I don't think it's good also. Neil Gorton. It's just very slow. Like all this stuff with like Tallulah, it's like... Uh, it's definitely too slow. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cool next time. I like this one. I like this one. Daleks! I demand to be told, what is this?